Hello! Hallie with Handmade by Hallie here. Here's my next video. In this video we will need some Waverly paint in plaster, crimson red, some black acrylic paint, some truffle and snow white paint, and some blue paint. We are going to need some ground cinnamon in a cinnamon shaker. You will need to choose the ribbon of your choice and some twine. We will also need a ballpoint pen and a vinyl weeder. For our vinyl, we'll need red, white, and blue, and then some clear. Other supplies we'll need are scissors, wire cutters, hot glue gun, and a sander, a star pattern, two tin pans and a cutting board, and a hanging wire. So let's get started. So we're going to sand this a bit and then put the truffle paint and I'm just going to spread this around with the baby wipe and then I'm going to get some paper towels and just keep wiping and wiping and wiping and really I'm just wiping this down until it's pretty much dry and you will kind of see the color of the board come through, but that's just fine. So now we're going to take our plaster color Waverly chalk paint and do the dry brush method on here. And our brown isn't quite dry, so you can kind of see some streaks of the brown come through, but that's okay. We do go through and do another coat. And I've got these paint Dixters from Home Depot and I'm going to cut these down to fit our board and then paint these in the same style as we did before after sanding the edges and I didn't put the brown paint on there because it's already brown it's not the exact same brown but that's okay and then we're going to do a second coat of the white on here to make it look the way we want. Next we're going to cut our edges off of the two tin pans. Be careful with all of these edges. They are sharp. So I'm going to do this to both of the tin pans and then I'm going to go ahead and trace two stars onto each pan. And be careful when cutting. These edges are sharp. So just use a ballpoint pen to trace your star, whatever shape you want. And I'm going to trace four, but we're going to only use three for this project. And when I'm cutting these out, sometimes I'm rounding the edge of the star. Sometimes I'm just leaving it a little bit pointy and I'll go back and trim up everything as I need to. So we'll get these two cut out and then I'll show you what next to do. We'll trim any edges and round the corners, get out a ruler and our pen and we're going to score from the tip to the inside and you do that to all the tips and then turn it over and then you pinch the long parts and then you push in the short parts of the star and there you have a 3D star. And you'll repeat that for all of those and then use a sharp instrument to make a hole in the top of each star. And then we're going to paint one of these stars blue, one white and one red. and this will take at least two coats. The thicker your paint is, the fewer coats it will take. And then we will let this dry. Next we are going to start our rusting process. And I've got black paint and brown paint and a sponge. Be careful not to dab this uh, and leave any round marks. And we're just going to randomly put this all over each of the stars. And we're going to layer this, the paints, the cinnamon. Then I'm going to come back with the paint of the color of the star. Part of what this does is it makes everything stick together. 
and that's what we want and then I go back and put the brown on and the black and then more cinnamon so there's about two or three coats of paint and two or three coats of the cinnamon and then I put them outside in the sun to dry thoroughly and then spray them with the clear coat of clear acrylic so while those are drying we're going to go ahead and put our vinyl words and stars on our board being careful to do this slowly so that everything sticks to the board the board I did put outside in the sun to dry for about a half an hour and as long as your board is good and dry the letters should stick to it if it's a little bit wet and you're rushing they just won't stick and then we'll get our blue ones on there going slow to peel up that clear contact paper type vinyl and this turns out looking pretty cute but then looking at it while I'm doing this I'm like you know what needs one other thing here so I get out my black paint pen and I outline everything and I wish I would have left just a little bit of extra space between the words as I was outlining it try not to be perfect if you are liking this project if you wouldn't mind doing those things liking my this video and commenting and sharing and most importantly subscribing you never know what I'm going to come up with I would greatly appreciate it so we're going to get this all outlined and I think it just stands out a little bit better and I give the stars some little dots like they're sparkling and then this part that I'm going to do I wish I would have done before I put the the words on and I measured every two inches and then did some marks and then drew lines like it is a slat board and I wish I would have done it before but you know you, you learn so I use some fix all and some hot glue and stick those down use my paint pen to do pretend nails and here's our stars all done and I just have to repoke those holes because it got covered with paint and then I put some hot glue on the end of my twine and put a double knot and I put that through each of the stars so they have their own hanger and I'm going to hang these in order of red white and blue and tie it together I should have tied it a little bit shorter but that's okay and I put them where about I want them to be and so I just kind of circle that twine up and put some hot glue and we're gonna glue it down and then I'm gonna make a little bow with this red white and blue or red tan and blue ribbon and I'm just going to do two little loops on each side cut it off use a pipe cleaner to twist around the center and this then just glue it in place hold it there for a minute and then we're going to trim our tails fold it in half and cut it in a V and this is called dovetailing now we need to put a hanger on the back so I have a piece of jute that's wrapped around a good wire and a piece of thick cardboard and I twist it really good put some hot glue down and put that cardboard on the top that helps hold the hanger I'm lost for words so here's our finished project thanks for sticking with me stars and stripes forever who doesn't love a good fourth of July project Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again soon.